Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking. So this is going to be a, t a little look at tarp camping and some of the issues that you may have with tarp camping. I want to talk to you about rain. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, space and things that you have to deal with. This is the bivy setup that I have. Let's talk about it. Okay everybody, here's the setup for tonight. Finally got the tarp set up. So there's the Pariah Breezy Mesh bivy. I've offset it a little bit over to one side. And then I've got some Tyvek underneath for the ground sheet. And then that is the light outdoors, sill poly, I guess, or sill nylon, I can't remember what it is. Tarp, I think it's a eight by 10. And here's the other side. What I do is I put my umbrella on one side, shields off the wind and the rain, and then the bivvies in there. And hopefully it'll keep us dry tonight. Okay, as you can see for the setup in the 10 foot length, it's a little bit tighter in that you've got the walls a little closer to you, but there is still room for all your gear to the right. You can see as I'm pointing down on my right there, I have all my gear that I need and space above my hips to get out. Um, but I've got every piece of gear that I have down between me and the tarp wall. I've got the piece of Tyvek underneath me and that Tyvek is larger than my bivy to accommodate all my gear over to the right. And I have easy access to it because I'm just in the bivy and it has a, a zipper to the bivy that allows me to get out and sit up. Even if I need to sit up to get any piece of gear, I can do that and have just enough room to gather all my gear and even have my shoes up to the right and there is plenty of room for the top and bottom. There's some things that you might want to know about if you want to tarp camp and bivy camp. And let's talk about it. First, if it's going to rain and you're dealing with a silk nylon or a uh, polyester tarp uh, like I do, uh, you're going to have some uh, movement of the tarp. It's, it's going to sag a little bit after it rains and after you set it up for a while. So it's probably good to readjust all your stakes and tie outs somewhere after a little while after you're doing it. Now the what I do here is I do the pariah breezy mesh bivy as you can see that this line goes up and I connect it to my pole there. The pole connects to I just have a, a line here that goes out to a stake but you can do it with probably some lighter line. But you can see how the tarp is sagging a little bit from all the rain last night. It simply takes in some of the moisture and then spreads out a bit. And if it does that, you got to recognize that this tarp is going to kind of sag in on your bivy if you don't adjust some of your tie out points. I didn't bring enough stakes, so I'm only tied out on the middle portions of each side. And as a result, the sides came in a little bit, touched my bivy, and then got a little moisture on my sleeping bag. And then below here, I have the Tyvek that I use and to just kind of get off the ground a little bit and give me a little protection of my bivy. But as you can see, the tie outs go from here all the way across and to the other side. And as a result, you can take this bivy and pull it up. And you can see that gives it the structure. So the Pariah Breezy Mesh Bivy gives you a lot of room. It's very wide and it gives you room for, that's a 25 um, inch pad width. And so that gives me a lot of room inside. I can actually put stuff on either side. And then I still have a lot of room over here for gear and stuff to keep it dry. And I'll show you the other side. As you see, here's the other side. And then when I pull this up, then it creates that uh, tautness of the bivy and how long it is and how wide it is. With a 10 foot tarp like it is, I have a lot of room on either side, probably a foot or so on either side to create a lot of space for myself. I stake it out. I have two more tie out points on each side. I could stake it out, just didn't bring enough stakes, but that's basically what you have.
Well, it's starting to rain. I've got my tarp set up in the eight foot way, not the 10 foot way. So I'm praying that the rain is not a downpour and wind blowing in and out because that would be a problem for the tarp and bivy setup. It was a hard rain all last night and I'm still in my sleeping bag because it's cold. The tarp and bivy setup never ceases to amaze me. It's absolutely bone dry on the floor here. They even had some wind, but the sides of the bivy kept me dry. What I'll say about the tarp and bivy setup is that I absolutely love it. There's something really nice about being open to the elements of the forest. If you're just sitting there and you can see out and you can hear the birds and it's just really nice. The way I have set it up in, in this setup is a eight foot length and a 10 foot width. So you have a lot more space on the sides. You can cook as I'm doing here and making coffee and you have a lot of space for all your gear. And the Pariah Breezy Mesh Bivy is a very wide bivy that has accommodate a 25 inch width pad and you still have a little bit of room on either side to put gear that you need to be with you at night maybe your filter or something or batteries that you need to keep warm inside your sleeping bag there's just more room you have room to cook you don't have to worry about the stove heating up or burning anything because you're open to the elements and you can put the stove out there on the ground and i have a piece of tyvek underneath me that I can fold twice if I wanted to, just to extra protection, or I can fold it out real wide to put all my gear on. But I usually keep a trash compactor bag to keep all my gear on. That way it's white in color so all the gear pieces can touch something so that I don't lose it. Um, you can see I have the, the trekking poles as my structure and then a piece of line that comes down off of that to keep everything taut. And, you know, I could have a Dyneema line or something a lot lighter, but I just have a normal cordage uh, that's real strong and structured just to keep it uh, real tight there. And I just use typical knots. But in this night, it was a complete thunderstorm. And you can see underneath here, it is dry as a bone. Not, not a problem. Even though there was wind, the Pride Breezy Mesh Bivy has side walls and it has walls on the bottom and the top. And that way it keeps you dry throughout the night. I think it's a great setup. I, I really like the lightness. It's, you know, less than two pounds. Anyway, it may be something you want to try. Dry as a bone underneath the tarp and bivy worked well last night. Now I just gotta pack up all this gear. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> just to show you what a tarp and bivy setup can do, there is the dryness of my bivy and the tarp that set up over it. Of course, there's all my gear explosion on the outskirts of it, but stay dry even though rain was all around me and it poured last night, I guess for about five hours or so, maybe six hours, until about two in the morning, it was complete rain. But stay dry with the tarp and bivy. Now I gotta get all this crap up and put it in my bag. One of the hardest parts for me, anyway, of getting all ready to go in the morning, getting all that crap back into that bag. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching this uh, short edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking. This is my tarp and bivy setup and some of the issues that people have with tarp and bivvies. Space, wetness, room, all that kind of thing. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time on the next episode of As the Crow Flies Hiking. Mm -hmm.